What's going on Genshin Impact players? As usual, back with the banner news. This time, we have some really great stuff to talk about. So let me show you what just dropped. Go over to in-game notices. You go to the notices, it takes an age to load because you're on a hard drive instead of an SSD. And then you go over to the event page. Boom, new banners right there. We have Alhaitham's banner with Yao Yao, Yunjin, and Shin Yan. So I'm going to tell you guys what's good about this banner, what's not as great about this banner, and then also we'll talk a little bit about the weapon banner and if that's worth pulling on as well, just because there's some pretty good weapons coming around this time of year and uh, it's it's worth looking at, at the least, right? So let's talk about it. First off, we have Alhatham as a, I, I want to call him the premier Dendro DPS. We do have, <laughs> we do have Tuknati and he's all right, but the thing is like, I think a lot of people find him just not super fun to play. And also he had his one limited banner, but a lot of people did didn't pull for him because they're just expecting to get him on the I'll hate them 50 50 that they're going to lose. However, everyone who watches this video, thumbs up and subscribes down below is going to be winning their 50 50. So I guess if you want Tugnati, then don't do that. But I feel like most of you probably want I'll hate them. So it's your choice. Anyways, so I'll hate them. I have a hard time thinking that he's going to be a bad character. I have a first impressions video I'm going to work on. I have my guide I'm going to do. Same thing with Yao Yao, right? But I will tell you right now, it's kind of hard for I'll hate them to be bad. The only way this character is bad is if his damage is just god awful in which case you just pull for other dendro characters but i doubt they're gonna do that to him and honestly he just looks so cool that i feel like, like they wouldn't do him that dirty right surely not uh but just the fact that he can be played in hyper bloom like by default makes him a good character because hyper bloom is such a good archetype similarly to how like animal units are almost always good dendro units are going to be functionally very powerful just because they enable hyper bloom and until hyper bloom gets nerfed across the board he's going to be good so at the worst case scenario you know he's at least usable in something that's like meta. But I have confidence he's going to be a good unit. What I do want to talk about is these four stars though. We have Yao Yao, Yunjin, and Xin Yan. And so Xin Yan, I think you could make an argument for Burgeon, but uh, it's... Toma's just better for it. So I'm going to call Shin Yan a lower value four star because she just doesn't see a lot of play. That said, you can play her in mono pyro and she can get the job done. Actually with a C6 Bennett, it's actually really funny. But as a shielding unit, she's not great. As a physical unit, she's okay. But overall, like being not great and okay at something is not worth pulling for in my opinion. Yunjin's great if you're a Yoimiya main or an Ayato main. She can do a lot for those characters. And she's also just kind of a fun character because you can take characters that aren't normally main deep DPS, and then you compare him with Yunjin, and now that character feels like a main DPS. So you have that option with Yunjin. I don't think she's going to see a lot of play with anyone like Alhaitham. So it looks like these are just kind of shoe in characters, but it makes sense for Lantern, right? I guess because Shin Yen was introduced in, in Liwa, even though she's not a Liwa character. Yunjin's Liwa. So I don't know. Maybe that's the theme they're going with. You can definitely find some use for Yunjin, but she's still not like a super like good character that you just like need no matter what. She looks really cool, though. I like her design a lot. Yao Yao, though, is a character that I think in the same boat as. I'll hate them can't really be bad. She's going to be the first ever Dendro healer that we have, unless you count Nahida with a uh, prototype Amber, right? But the thing is, the reason that's so important is because there's so many Dendro team archetypes that want a healer. Basically, anything to do with the Bloom, Hyper Bloom, or Virgin needs a healer to function and sustain, unless you just play like really perfectly. Or, you know, you could use like a shield or something. But now, finally, having a, a Dendro character that can heal, you're no longer constrained to Kuki. Initially, you would just use Kuki Shinobu in whatever uh, Hyper Bloom team to to compensate for that healing or you would use Kokomi now you have the option of a Dendro character in there instead and that's kind of nice I can't speak to her internal cooldown or anything that has to do with leaks but I do think that it's going to be very difficult for her to be bad I have a lot of faith that just because she's a Dendro and a healer she'll be pretty good overall honestly the four stars on this I don't think are great for the characters you're going to be pairing them with because keep in mind that like Xiao is the other character on banner and then you're not going to use Yunjin or anyone with like uh, Hu Tao or Yulan either so these two aren't going to really benefit you a lot here Yao Yao I think is going to be a really good unit that I think people will want to get. As far as Lantern, right, by the way, for priority, if you don't have a Syncho, I think Syncho should be the first character you go for, for your free character. But if you have, like, most of the Lantern right characters, I don't think picking up Yao Yao is going to be a bad thing. And I want to make it very clear that if you don't want to pull for these banners, but you want Yao Yao, just get her for free during the event. It's going to be your best bet. There may be rate up pity, but there's not rate up pity per each character. Like, you could get 10 Yunjins in a row and then a Shin Yad and never get a Yao Yao. So, keep that in mind. If you just want Yao Yao, you do not have to pull 
pull on these banners. So let's talk about the weapons next. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about the weapon banner and its worth. As we're this far, like over two years into Genshin's Impact's lifespan, you can start making some arguments for pulling for weapons. That said, it depends on the value of the banner. And to be completely honest, I don't really like this banner that much. So Light of Foliar Incision, if you guys don't know what it does, this is Ahithem's, it's, it's his main weapon. I'm pulling this over to uh, the screen so you guys can see right now. All right, so there you go. Crit rate is increased by 4%. After normal attacks deal elemental damage, the Foliar Incision effect will be obtained, increasing damage dealt by normal attacks and elemental skills by 120% of elemental mastery. This effect will disappear after 28 damage instances or 12 seconds. So this is specifically meant for Ahithem. It's got 88 crit damage, which automatically, I know for a lot of players, sets off alarms. Like, oh my God, that's such a good weapon. That's like Jade Cutter value of, of crit. And, and you're right. That is like really good crit stats. But in exchange, you have a lower base attack. And in exchange, you have sort of this effect where it's like hyper specific. So the crit rate increase is, is kind of nice, whatever. But this weapon is basically useless if you don't have some sort of infusion on your character. After normal attacks deal elemental damage, that's when you get the effect. And it increases damage dealt by normal attacks and elemental skills by a portion of your elemental mastery. So for someone like Kutsing in Aggravate, this can actually be pretty decent. But outside of that, what characters really get benefit out of this? Maybe a character holding this and Kandake for something like Bloom. But outside of that, this weapon is just a stat stick. And I, I just want to make that clear. Most characters are not benefiting from this. Oh, I, I forgot to mention Ayaka too. So Ayaka, right, has an infusion. So she can get the effect. But how many people are building Elemental Mastery on Ayaka? Even on Melt Ayaka, I don't see a lot of people running EM. So keep that in mind that even though it looks like it'll fit perfectly with certain characters, it might not be as great as we think it is. That said, it's going to be a decent stat stick no matter what. So if you're pulling for Jade Spear for your Xiao and you get the weapon, it's not that bad. But that is exactly the reason why I don't think you should pull on this banner is because Jade Spear is on it. Jade Spear is a weapon that's on the standard banner. You can get it from the standard banner. The odds of you getting it from the standard banner are incredibly low, but there are so many good weapons that'll come up on the event banners in the future. Literally the banner after this is going to be Staff of Homa and Aqua Simulacra if they're still following the, the thing they've been doing for the past two years of Genshin Impact, which is putting signature characters with their signature weapons. So effectively that means you're getting one of the top bows in the game and the best pull arm in the game debatably on the same banner and both of them are limited event items. If you're going to pull on an event banner or if you're going to pull for someone for Xiao, I would actually pull on the Homa banner because those two weapons have so many more use cases. And in some cases, Staff of Homa can even be better than Jade Spear on Xiao. Just looking at the four stars, the, the four stars are kind of just insult to injury, right? Rain Slasher can be one of the best four star options for Diluc. That's great. Rain Slasher can also be used on Sayu. Outside of that, it's kind of a, like a useless weapon. The Flute is just mid. The Lithic Spear can be good crit for a four star weapon if you need it. But outside of that, it's kind of mid the stats on it itself are not great especially when you consider that you can't really take full advantage of something like a full liwa team in, in most team setups widsith is amazing and sackbo can be used on like diona or yalan if you want to but the use cases for this over something like fav are just not that great so basically what i'm saying is that the four stars on this are pretty mid uh the jade spear is a, a weapon that is just always available and light of foliar incision is not as useful as some people make it out to me even if it is a good stat stick if you're going to pull in a weapon banner i would highly recommend recommend pulling on the next weapon banner. However, if you just want I'll hate them's weapon, you can do whatever you want. I don't make these decisions for you. I just think it's really worth noting that this weapon banner is probably one of the not great ones. Uh, one of the worst ones we've seen in a little bit for sure, but at least it's not like Skyward Pride and like Summit Shaper or something. So could be worse. Anyways, that's basically my thoughts on the banner. I think that the banners in general are just not great this time around, even though they might have some great reasons to, to pull on them. Like I'll hate them if you want him as a unit. He's great. Yao Yao is probably going to be pretty good as well. However, there, this is like, this screams no to me. This screams stay away from this banner unless you are a Yoimiya main and want more Yunjin copies uh, or a Jinyan main, which just simply are rarer than shiny Pokemon. This weapon banner just seems like the four stars you're getting out of it are like pretty mid or like pretty niche. And then the five stars out of it, one of them is pretty niche, can be a good stat stick though. And the other one is available on standard banner and can be replaced by the weapons coming up on the future banner. But despite the banner worth in in my opinion not being that great i am very excited for the next patch and for all hate them so if you guys are excited as well let, let me know down in the comments below and let me know who you're pulling for actually thanks for watching as always guys and i will catch you all next time